All right, so do you want instant credibility in your market or maybe all the money you can possibly do deals with, all the lending partners possible, or even other people to do deals with? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to start a real estate investment group. All right, so first I'm gonna to talk to you about the mindset you need to start your real estate investment group. Then I'm gonna just talk to you about starting this real estate investment group. And by the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this so your real estate investment group grows even after you outgrow it or leave it or move to another state. All right, I wanna to talk to you about uh, a quote that I heard my mentor, Tom Kroll, say. He actually started Wholesaling Inc., but he said one time, Brent, you're never ready enough. You go when you're ready enough. You know, what did that mean to me? It's uh, something I've been saying for years is we only know the answers for today. We don't need to worry about the answers tomorrow. So I wanna tell you about Matthew 6:34. It says, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow has enough troubles of its own. So just remember that, stop worrying about tomorrow. Focus on today. That's what we call it the present. It's present. This is the present that's been given to you and focus on today only. All right, so it's 2016 and I had been doing some real estate deals for a little while, wholesaling houses, flipping houses, and I was really getting started in land and my real estate broker approached me and his name is Colin Smith. He owns Solid Rock Realty in Colorado Springs. Huge shout out to Colin Smith. Hopefully he's watching this video. But he approached me and said, Brent, let's start a meetup. Let's start a Real Estate Investor Association. And my first thought was fear, doubt, and worry. Like, what if people don't take me seriously? I don't have enough experience. Who am I to start teaching people how to do real estate investments? I'm still pretty new to this. My first investment house was in 2007. And don't, don't think about all the negative things that I just thought about. About. I was just fear and doubt, but I said, you know what, Colin, I trust you. I will ride your coattails. Let's do this. Well, we started it. We started it the next month and we were in massive, massive success with this. This is what the people wanted. They wanted two guys running a real estate investor association that were actually doing, wait for it, real estate deals. We were doing real estate deals on a daily basis. Colin was buying and selling real estate for other people as a real estate broker. He was also buying and selling real estate. Well, he actually was really only buying real estate for himself. Colin's a big guy and he was selling my real estate that I was buying. So all these things combined was attracting other people that wanted to do deals or were already doing deals or lending money on deals or looking for partners to do deals. And this was the ultimate success of us building a real estate investment association or a group, the Colorado Springs Real Estate Investor Association. Yes, long name, but amazing results that attracted so many people that we had over 100 people coming in twice a week to the local coffee shop called Third Space Coffee on North Academy. All right, so let's get into the how-to. The first thing you wanna do is establish a location. This could be your backyard. This could be a coffee shop, which I highly, highly recommend because they serve food. Sometimes it's late at night, sometimes it's during the day. They allow people to have a coffee or maybe a wine or a beer at the end of the day or a snack. I highly recommend a place that will serve you food or some you know, coffee or whatever so that your guests have a place to spend money and then they can be social. And there's something about just drinking and sharing a snack together that brings more people in. One thing that we learned, we moved it to my office after I'd renovated my office and got this like room ready to go. Well, it wasn't as good of a turnout because we didn't have the coffee, we didn't have the beers, we didn't have the wine. Yes, we put out you know sodas and drinks and snacks, but it was a little bit different being able to go and purchase it from an actual business. At my office, we would put it out there and the people would have to serve themselves. So a little bit of a psychology there, but once we moved it back to the coffee location, I think that people really started coming again. They really preferred that atmosphere. So just keep that in mind. So secure a location that serves you. I'm actually starting one right now in Vero Beach, Florida. It's actually at a lunch location right by the airport that you can actually buy a lunch. It's a limited menu, but it's $12. Everyone comes in and spends $12. They get their lunch, their coffee, or their soda, or their tea, while we network with other real estate investor associations or learn real estate investors, I should say. They associate with other real estate investors. 
and or learning about real estate. All right, so go ahead and drop a comment in the comments sections below and tell me if you've ever started the meetup or the location of where your meetup's at or the location that you plan to start a meetup. And I'd love to see what, what some of the areas that people are starting meetups in or real estate investor associations. Next, I wanna talk to you about partnering up with people like I did with my real estate broker. We later brought on another partner that's a young real estate developer. His name is Dan Habercost, and he also helped us invite other people. And I want you to start this from the very beginning. The one I'm currently starting right now in Vero Beach, Florida, I'm actually doing that from the beginning. I'm doing it with a real estate and broke a real estate broker, a real estate developer, a real estate attorney, an insurance agent, a contractor, a title company, and all these people will will merge their ecosystems with my ecosystem and we'll all be responsible for inviting at least four to five people every meetup. So if I've got five people inviting five different people, that's 25 people per meetup and those people are gonna tell other people. So put the stress or the pressure of growing this and inviting people on other people. It's all about partnering. Partnering. You know, do you think that we need to talk to a real estate attorney in real estate? or a lender in real estate, or a title company, or a contractor, or an insurance agent. These people are all there at each event, and it makes a completely round, you know, I guess I would say a, an environment of people doing business together, and no one's competing because we all serve the customer, or the client, or the seller, or the buyer in some type of capacity. Next, I wanna talk about the power of social media, the internet and advertising for your real estate investors association. The first place I recommend is putting it on meetup.com. Meetup.com is extremely powerful. People go on and search these like events that are going on and they can actually RSVP and register for your group. And then you also start building an email list of people that are registering for this group. And before you know it, you have 1100 members that are coming to it. And then if you need to send out a deal or you're requesting funding for something, you can literally use the power of your meetup group with all those emails you've acquired, all those people that you've acquired as members to send out a deal or to request for funding for something it is extremely powerful. There's so many benefits of starting a real estate investor association or an investment group. Next is Facebook. Facebook is absolutely powerful. You can do events. You can start an actual group for your real estate investor association or your real estate investment group. Here's one tip I wanna share with you though. Use the same art, the same photo, the same logo on your meetup group as your Facebook group, as your events pages as well. I want you to keep using the same logo. All you're doing is branding yourself and the same name too. Shorter the better, obviously. My new one is called the Vero Beach Real Estate Investor Club. Vero Beach Real Estate Investor Club. Kind of long, but I'm gonna basically brand it all the same photos, everything out there. And I actually just did it right before I came here. I just put it on, on Meetup. I just put it on Facebook and we just created an event for January 12th. January 12th, it is a Wednesday at noon. And I'm gonna do this once a month and you gotta keep it consistent, 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 every single month, same time, same place, because people will start to rely on this. And then next, on your first couple meetups or your first couple events, I want you to call all the people that RSVP'd. I want you to text them. I want you to message them at least three different ways to make sure that they're remembering that your meetup is at January 12th, on January 12th at noon at the restaurant where, where you're having it located at. So you gotta remind people because people are busy. People are very busy. They have flat tires. Their kids throw up in the car. They have soccer practice. These type things happen. All right, next, layout and format. So here's what how we started it. We always started right on time, but usually we would try and keep our talks around 30 minutes or less because guys, people are busy. People's attention spans are super short. There's a reason why TikTok videos are super short. There's a reason why YouTube videos are getting shorter because our attention span is getting less and less and less. So I'll keep these talks or these seminars, these educations or the presentations under 30 minutes. And then who do you have talk on them? Well, you can utilize the power or the experience of your lender or your real estate investor that you invite that week or the real estate broker or the title company. Each time you hold one of these events, you can have a professional talk and then eventually other people will come and ask to present as well. And there's one thing I've found about real estate investors. They love, they love to have the spotlight on them. They like to share what they're doing most of the time. So find these people that are doing great business and have something to share and keep it under 30 minutes. And then after that, have another 30 minutes of networking time so you can actually meet these people, get their business cards, see how you can serve that person or create a relationship. And each one of these events I would go to, 
I would only look to seek out one person that I wanted to get to know. I wouldn't try and talk to the whole room, just one person, one person that I can have coffee with later on. But it was, it was specific networking, not random networking. I would go to, like for instance, if I was looking for lending, I would go to the gray haired person in the room, the guy that's done a bunch of real estate deals that has, probably has that home that's paid for, that's lived in the same place for the last 10 years and he's over 55. That's the person I would go and talk to. If you come with me this far, check out my other video that I just did how to get the money to invest in real estate.